It's time to unleash the beast. In this video, we're gonna hit the track on our monster 700cc two-stroke. The Megalodon 700cc dirt bike is finally finished. We have the air intake system, we have the custom-built factory exhaust, and we have the power output we've been dreaming of. That means that today is the day, the moment of truth. It's time to let the shark feed. <laughs> it's almost been a year to the day since we first went to Chris's workshop to film the 1000cc enduro bike build. We met the madman that day and that's when this crazy idea first started. We discussed the feasibility and possibility of a 700cc build and the cogs in our heads started whirring. Since then, it's been a long road to get to this point, way longer than I first imagined. But the struggles along the way will only make today feel all the more sweet. Now, 700 cc's is a lot to handle. So to help me wrangle the 70 plus horsepower of the Megalodon, I've drafted in an old friend. As well as owning this awesome facility here at Doncaster Motor Park, Ed Bradley is also an X500cc GP racer and he has more skill in his pinky finger than I do in my entire body. He was one of my first mentors when I first joined the industry and started working for Trials and Motocross News and Dirt Bike Rider magazine. He was their chief tester at the time, which means that he's one of the most experienced test pilots in the entire nation. There's not many people more qualified to help me tame the Megalodon. We'll both be taking a rip on the beast today, but to be fair, I think at the moment we both feel a little less like bike testers and a little more like shark bait. Right, so here we are at the track with the Megalodon. This is the moment of truth. Today is the day that we've been leading up to for like literally almost a year, like I said in the intro. And here we are today today i know you guys have been waiting for it patiently it's taken a lot longer than i thought to actually get the build finished but we're here we're ready to go being honest with you guys i'm scared i'm nervous we've got ed here today who's a pro rider ex-pro rider he's raced 500 gps back in the day so he's plenty of experience riding big bore two strokes me on the other hand <laughs> Not so experienced. I've ridden a couple of 500s in the past. I rode a 252 stroke the other week and that ripped my arms out. So apprehensive, nervous, a little bit scared of riding the beast, but also it's the real test of the Megalodon. This is it. We, today we're going to find out if she's a real life working dirt bike. I've ridden around the field. I know that she goes. I know that she's got power. I know that she works. But it all changes once we hit the track. So uh, today's the day. DMP is primed and ready to go. Ed's just arrived. Let's go and see what he thinks to the beast. Then let's hit the track. Yeah, very well, thank you. Good. <laughs> Nervous. <Excellent. laughs> yeah. It is absolutely mental. I mean, what has possessed you to put that much into a bike? <laughs> I don't know. Well, it would be we, fun to have a test though. They reckon it's the fastest 700cc two-stroke engine there is. We've got 70 horsepower, yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. So we've got a lot. I, I rode it. More than the CR500. More than the CR500. That's what we was aiming for, more than 500. Do you know in Jurassic Park when they said uh, they did it to see if they could and they didn't stop to think whether they should? <laughs> we've done it to see if it was possible. So, so basically you've created a dinosaur. Yeah, it's a megalodon, <laughs> giant shark. <laughs> As we said, it's been quite the journey to get to this point. And here's a little reminder of just how we got here. Far in the distance, there's a promise. It seems far in the distance. I put it on the altar, though it was mine.
series turned out to be our most ambitious project yet. And it just wouldn't have been possible without the help, time and effort of so many people. And of course, the Megalodon wouldn't have turned out this way without some awesome products from some awesome companies. And you probably know it by now, but this project wouldn't have even begun without the support of our awesome sponsors, Muckoff. Check them out next time you need to stock up on products to clean, lube and protect your bike. What a rush. Let's hand the beast over to our pro rider for the day, Mr. Ed Bradley. Tick over. Apart from there, that was half throttle. <laughs> that was easy, it's funny.
like a steam train. Just keeps rolling. They say it's only got a small petrol tank. I've not been above half throttle yet. It's probably last me for ages. This is like riding a, an old style 500. Forget about using the clutch. You roll the throttle on. And hang on for dear life. There's so much torque in it. Front brake's good. And that ding 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 is what I used to listen for when watching Thorpey and Andre Mallard out the bars when they're racing the 500s. Only this is a 700. So not change gear, third gear, third gear doing half mile an hour and it still picks up. <laughs> that was so fast. That is so blimmin' quick! Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, that's so quick! Oh! Wow! Front wheel's coming out that time! So we've done it. The Megalodon has hit the track. I think we're the only two in the country, possibly. I'm sure the guys watching, if anyone has, will correct me. But as far as I know, me and you are the only guys that have ridden a 700cc two-stroke in the UK anyway. I know those guys out in Europe that have ridden. Um, what did you think, Ed? What did you think to the beast? interesting <laughs> yeah yeah i think that's the right word it's so funny we're rolling around it, it's going from tick over in the corners to half throttle down the straights <laughs> and it's just so fast there's so much momentum that so just pulls you and drags you down the straights and then uh trying to get it to go around the corners and slow down on tick over yeah. is yeah it's, it's disconcerting isn't it you go into the corner you think i feel like i should need i need to change it down because that's <laughs> what i've done all my entire life going into a corner but then you don't necessarily need to, you can leave it a third, can't you? Pretty much everywhere. And all you do is you listen to it go, pom, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. pom, 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 <laughs> and then you're off again. I, I don't know about you, but last night I, was, I had a restless night's sleep. I was nervous, apprehensive about taking a track, because obviously for us it's been like an eight month build up. And I was thinking, oh my God, what's it going to be like on track? Are we going to be able to jump it? But then you went out for, I think it was your second session, basically did a moto and was by the end of it sending that tabletop there, getting it a little bit sideways. So I was very pleased with that to see you pushing it as, as you got used to it. Yeah, absolutely. And getting used to it was a difficult thing to do because that was on the motocross bikes that we're riding now, it's you brake, it slows down, you turn the corner, you nail it down the straight again. But this is so quiet, there's so it rolls along and then all of a sudden you're going too fast with the jump. So <laughs> adjusting your speed to clear the tabletop was like, concerning because it was so easy to go too fast and then uh, and over jump it and it's we've got to take care of it to start off with so. you, your, your brain's working differently isn't it because you we're used to riding motocross in in our familiar way that we've always done it you know how fast you're going on a two people two stroke just by the sounds of it yeah but like you said on this you're listening to this and thinking oh, i'm not going like when we're filming you're like, is that going to start pushing it yet because you're just like half throttle like you said but then you 
you stop and watch it. I know he's he's trucking it down that straight straight actually. He's going he's going fast. Watching how fast you go rather than to listen to how fast you go is quite an interesting thing because when you're watching how fast you go, how fast things are going past you. It's like being on a train and you see the blurred pictures yeah, going yeah. past. It's like disconnecting your sight from your ears, isn't it? If, yeah. you, if you put some headphones in or something, you'd think, I'm going really fast here. But cause, because you can hear the, the engine barely, barely working around the track like this, there's not too many long straights here, are there? No. No big hills to, for it to work up. And when you, do, when you do open it and you give it a load of gas, it's like a hold tight because it took well, off we, and we goes both came fast. In. We both came in and oh, my shoulders hurt. <laughs> my shoulders hurt Shoulders, now. of all things, you know, maybe your legs or your core or something, but shoulders were aching like mad after hanging onto it, so. Yeah, my shoulders are aching. What do you think we need to do to improve things? Obviously, there's some teething issue, issues today that we've had um, some running repairs along the day. Obviously, starting it was a pain in the ass when it was cold. As a rider, what do you think we need to kind of focus on to make the ride even nicer to be able to push more? The starting it is put the kickstart on this side. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Kick it with the right leg. The back brake was a bit spongy, so that was a bit hard. Like when building the speed, slowing it down once you built speed up, that would have been nice. The uh, right, front though, brake is amazing. Yeah. That was stopping on a pinhead and almost like yeah. tucking under a little bit. Obviously the clutch is, I've, well it's not obvious, but the clutch is really close, the biting point is really close to the handlebar, so we, there can be some adjustment made on that. The bike is balanced, it's light. It's actually quite nimble to move around. It, it's just the power, there's so much momentum in the engine that, that keeps rolling into the corner. It's just getting your head around how to ride a 700cc two-stroke <laughs> compared to, you know, the, you know, your 454 stroke and that sort of thing. So the bike itself actually handles quite well and it turns quite well as in the wheelbase distances and the, how it's quite nimble to actually then adjust to riding it with the foot, with a massive engine in it is a different thing altogether. So more riding on it and we'll we'll get to work it out better but i don't like to tell you but um i spoke to raymond who's the guy from mega in austria this week and he was giving me some tips how to get more power out of it <laughs> <laughs> so i mean awesome. we could go away from here get it on the dyno and get some even bigger dyno numbers so uh, maybe next time we come back it'll be even faster <laughs> <laughs> thanks again ed thanks for riding today yeah, i hope good. you had fun yeah thank you that's great so there we have it guys we have a living Breathing the Megalodon! Oh, easy does it, the sun! And as my buddy Kate Kaplan would say, this thing will rip the house off its foundations! But this story certainly ain't over yet. I know there's more to be done than right, I know there's more development to be done. We can get more out of the motor, we need some more dyno time. I know we can set up the suspension better. And of course, there are some teething issues that we've come across today that, that we want to sort out and get it right, get it perfect. But when we let other people give it a rip, because of course, you know, we want to get our buddy Neville Bradshaw on board for a ride. And of course, there is loads more stuff we want to do with the bike. We want to get her up against Big Red. We want to get her in a race. And we want to officially, oh, I need a jump. <laughs> we want to officially claim that title for the world's fastest two-stroke dirt bike. So like I said, this story ain't over yet. So be sure to subscribe to the channel to never miss an episode of the 700 series, never miss a set and make an episode. Oh, what a thrill, what an experience riding the shark on track for the first time. As always guys, my name is Max. This is 999 Laser. Till next time, I'll see you at the track. Not a
frame. It's got an exhaust pipe that's bigger than a frippin' Leyland Daff. See that jet taken off? That's nothing on the Megalodon. Oh! Oh! What I wanted to point out was the engine, the chassis has got girders on it. The cylinder is bigger than a bucket that you'd wash the floor with and the exhaust pipe is like you'd see on a Leyland Daff. <laughs> it's mad isn't it? <laughs> uh, you put me under pressure with this with the camera Could do with a passenger for the sidecar bike. Whoa. I guess what's weird is that it's a modern motocross bike feel with an old school power, like a 490 Mako sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> 